Hello dear students and friends, welcome to Billion Hopes. This is Sandeep Manudhane, Mentor Sandy, bringing you AI for Real Impact. Do our AI systems truly understand the 3D world in which they exist? Do our AI systems actually understand the basic laws of physics that govern the interplay between objects in this real world? Do our AI systems truly look at the 3D world the way we humans actually do? The clear answer to these fundamental questions about AI till date is a clear no. This is why many AI experts repeatedly warn that the lack of a world model can actually make a lot of AI pretty much less functional or dysfunctional even in mission critical applications. A new startup and a new product by the godmother of AI, Fi Fi Lee, promises to change all that. World Labs promises to build large world models in AI to simulate the 3D reality of any imagined fictional world even with just a text prompt. For sure, Microsoft and others have given us many wonderful gaming experiences in 3D simulations or almost 3D simulations. But you and me as regular users or citizens would not have created a simulated world of our own without a lot of training. World Labs gives us a prompting box where we could simply tell the AI to create a 3D world. It could be a fanciful world. I tried it and I created some fanciful worlds and it was truly amazing. This promises to be the revolution in spatial intelligence. Welcome once again and let's dive deep into what is this promised world lab spatial intelligence revolution on. The new era of spatial intelligence that seems to be dawning upon us is all about endowing our AI systems with the capability to try and see the real world as we humans do. Now to be sure, no AI actually sees anything, feels anything, experiences anything. They actually are stochastic parrots to put it in a rather crude way or they are basically probabilistic token generators as we all understand. But if we can build world models, then a very major criticism of the limitation of LLMs and modern AI, which is also now merged with robotics, a lot of it, can actually be taken care of. The new era of spatial intelligence promises to do exactly that. So let's quickly take a look at what spatial intelligence truly means. See, there are three aspects of spatial intelligence relevant to our debate today. 3D perception. Every human infant within the first few months of existence begins to see the world in proper 3D in terms of the distance, the understanding of depth, what will happen if two objects interact with each other in a certain way. The human infant is not only born with a lot of priors, but the ability of that infant to pick up learning from a 3D world is actually amazing. If you really think about it, no machine can do that. Physical reasoning, gravity, collisions, cause and effect. This is what actually makes good games look and feel so good in case they can simulate this to a great extent and embodied actions. Intelligence always follows the 4E principle. It, one of those 4Es actually is embodiment. We humans are actually having an intelligence with a cover of this physical body. So that is embodied. Intelligence is embodied. And our body keeps sending stimulus and signals for our intelligence to keep flourishing. Without this body, the intelligence wouldn't perhaps even exist. So much for digital brains. Why does most of today's AI actually lack it? Because they are actually doing 2D pattern matching. They are statistical correlators and not really physics engines. And they do disembodied processing. So this is what spatial intelligence is all about. If we can crack, if we can solve spatial intelligence, then 
the potential ramifications are actually enormous. Full self-driving will finally become a reality. It is not solved fully yet. Yes, there are uh, Waymo vehicles and uh, Tesla vehicles which can actually try and negotiate and navigate certain cities very well, but then they require tremendous amount of prior training with the localized maps. You cannot just take a Waymo vehicle out of a city X it has been trained upon and put it in a city 10,000 kilometers away, which it hasn't seen earlier. It would not be a good experience. With a 3D modeling solution, perhaps 5 to 10 years down the line, even that may be possible. Urban planning, AR, VR and metaverse, healthcare and medicine, agriculture, robotics and manufacturing, that could actually be one of the biggest applications for spatial intelligence solutions. So, World Labs is what we are talking about today. And spatial intelligence, that is the ability to see the world in 3D complexity as we humans do, is what we are talking. This is the team, Fai Fai Lee, the godmother of AI. And why exactly do people refer to her as the godmother of AI? Because she was the first who had the confidence that she could make computers see perception and vision in computers. And how exactly did she make it happen? Well, around 2007, she created more than 20,000 categories of objects and populated it with hundreds of thousands of images, painstakingly manually labeled by human volunteers and herself. And a whole system of images capturing the 3D world was created, the ImageNet. And Computers were, or rather LLM and AI engines were trained with those images, which was input and output matching via back propagation and computer vision actually came into being. Imagine the scope, scale, size and the effort required in that kind of a project. So this will be her second major revolution if she is able to pull this off, the spatial intelligence revolution. And this would, of course, be a logical extension to the enormously productive work that she did in the first innings. So, before we get into this technical side, let's quickly take a look at the website, the world model concept, and a world model that I generated on that website. Here goes. So here we are on the site, World Lab Spatial Intelligence, and it is inviting us to explore. So, well, let's do that. Let's explore. So I have clicked it open, and a 3D world will soon be rendered in all its glory. Oh, wow, 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 this has been rendered. So this is a 3D world. And the beauty of this is it was created just with a text prompt. Of course, you can give a 2D or a 3D input initially if you want to make it better and more enriched. But a pure text prompt can end up creating a proper 3D world like this. Do you see the richness of it? So a relevant and this actually is covering the whole thing in a 360 degree panoramic view and giving a 3D feel. And you can then check out the next world. It will soon render and we can see the creativity of the founders, the team and the people who are using it. So this is the next 3D world right before us. The richness of the rendering, the detailing and the way it can then be used by AI systems or robots in any kind of a situation that you can possibly conceive out of your mind is absolutely mind-boggling. Remember, any world model can be prompted into that system. And I did prompt one, which was a rather funny one. I asked it to create a small home made up of shiny plastic floating on the waves of the Pacific Ocean, safe and sturdy. And it did that in less than five minutes. So let's take a look at that as well. So I'm in my account here and the world I have created, floating plastic home on the Pacific Ocean, safe and sturdy and things. So it will soon load. Here we are on the viewer and you should definitely try out this site, try out the solution of spatial intelligence. And this is the solution that it created for me. All I gave was a text prompt, nothing else. So this is the Pacific Ocean. And this is the plastic home. It built it. And you can check out the detailing. It was a very, very small prompt. This is the sky in all its circular glory, I would say. Of course, as the resolution improves, maybe all those circles will also vanish. So here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Got it? 
And this was the second one for which the system gave a prompt and also a starting image as a suggestion to me and I accepted it and it will soon come up. So this was an enchanted uh, forest scenario. Come on, render fast. Okay, here goes. And then it gave me an option to open it in virtual reality, which I did. And this is the enchanted mushroom forest scenario. An absolutely breathtaking 3D detailing. So this is a fantastical scenario. The prompt and the starting image were provided by the system. And the system says that if you can give some starting input, the final output can match your specific requirements much, much better as it is with other journey I think also. So I think this entire 3D thing is quite new. And if the applications live up to the promise, then we are definitely into a new era of intelligence when this gets married with the regular Gen AI and robotics. So their promise is that spatial intelligence transforms seeing into doing, understanding into reasoning and imagining into creating. So that's saying quite a lot in fact. And from pixels to worlds. And the first AI product is Marble. We were actually using Marble. That's a beautiful name for this. Spatially consistent. Now, this has always been a problem. The consistency in AI generation, especially the 3D so-called high fidelity and persistent 3D world. Persistence means, I mean, the more you interact with it, it should not break down. And you can actually move through it, edit and inhabit. The last word is actually pretty scary. <laughs> Inhabiting these worlds sounds like quite a scary proposition. Multimodal inputs, you can do 3D layouting initially, interactive editing, expanding and combining worlds and versatile inputs. The possibility that endless, I have only taken the first step in this today. Over the coming weeks, I will explore it more and I think they are onto something really big. So I have introduced you to this and I hope that this truly helps you learn more. Now let's wrap up the session with a quick technical insight into how the traditional generative AI lacks spatial intelligence. Because the focus is 2D content, images, text, video, everything is in 2D. The output is static and flat media. Understanding is very limited in terms of spatial analysis. But with World Lab Spatial AI, the focus is 3D world modeling, large world models. And the output, as they claim, persistent, interactive, explorable 3D environments. Maybe this truly is the launch of a new era in intelligence. When Fai Fai Li actually went ahead with the computer vision thing for many, many years, her work wasn't taken as seriously as she would have hoped it would be. But finally, she won that. And we now know how far generative AI came because of those efforts. Maybe this is the seed for a future that is full of promise in terms of spatial intelligence. I hope you enjoyed the session. Please do check out the various links I have given in the comment. Insights is our website, insights.billionhomes.ai, that covers hundreds of important contemporary issues in current affairs. You would love it. AI, current affairs AI. And do subscribe to our free newsletter, AI for Everyone. We send two issues every week. It's a wonderful compilation of amazing stuff right in your inbox. I hope you enjoyed the session, New Era of Spatial Intelligence. Do share with me in the comment what new topics would you want me to take up in the coming weeks. Please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you so much. This is your mentor Sandy bringing you AI for Real Impact.